going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I just woke up, you guys saw I just turned on all the lights, got everybody ready for the morning. But today, I decided to make a video on how to um, basically have your geckos grow faster, tips on what foods to feed them, what to do, what I do, what's been working. I've only had my lily whites that I made a video about like a month ago. I've only had them for about a month and a half. When I got them, they weighed about 11 grams each. Now they're both at, I just measured them, I weighed them the other night. They both weighed 22 grams. So one month, they went up 11 grams, it's crazy. So hopefully they'll be ready for breeding season next year, which uh, at this point, looks like they will be. So I'll be showing you guys them in this video and I'll just be giving you guys some tips on what I do. So let's get into the video. All right guys, so right in these two tubs, we have both of my Lily White Crested Geckos that I ordered from um, Lily Exotics. These guys are doing amazing. C1 right down here. This is my male. I guess they did prove out to be male and female. So you get some better lighting. There you go. This right here is my male, as you can see. Started to show, but He's gotten a lot bigger since when I got him. Let me turn my lighting down. So it's a little better. There he is. He's gotten huge. He should be ready to pair up next season, like I said, with the female that I bought with him. And I'm planning on pairing him up to one of my yellow females up there. Should make some nice really white babies. So hopefully that goes well. I'll show you guys. I had to clean up their tubs too. They made a whole mess with their paper towels on there and I had to go swap out their food. But I'll do that later on. Let me show you guys the female really quick. The female is a lot nicer. They're both really nice, but her pattern and her like, the white on her is just, it's crazy. It pops out. Let's see where she is. She is right underneath her paper towel. Come here. I love this little girl. Come on. I can't wait to get some more of these guys. But look at this girl. Look how beautiful she looks. It's crazy. How much they've grown in just a month. Can't wait to make some babies out of them. I really want to see what their babies look like. But as you can see, her pattern is she doesn't have as much pattern, but the white covers a lot of her body. And it just makes it look ridiculous. <laughs> I've actually gotten offers for her. People have offered me like 2500 but I'm not selling these guys. These are future breeders here. These guys will be staying with me forever. Love these little guys. So now, what I'm going to do is basically go over their diet on what I feed them. And yeah, so right over here in this fridge, I have my little Rapashi bottles. These are pretty cheap. You can buy these pretty much anywhere. But Got the Apache. This is the regular normal MRP, which is the meal replacement diet. It's just a powder. And then right here we also have the Apache banana cream pie. What I do is I put most of it is all the regular MRP. So say if I'm making half a bottle, I'll do like let's see. Let's say if I'm making a whole bottle, I'll do like 75% this and then I'll add like 20 25% this. So you don't want to add as much as this. This is just to give it a nice little flavor for them, which they like. But this is mainly what you want to be in there. And as you can see, I didn't make a whole bottle the other night right here. So let's keep it in the fridge. It'll last a while. What I also do is I feed the Pangea uh, breeding diet. That is one of my favorites too. You guys really love it. And it shows tremendously in their growth also what you guys can do is what i do i breed dubia roaches you can see 
them right there. It's not too pleasant. Like the idea of it is kind of eh. But these guys are essential for making your uh, your geckos grow. I breed. I've been breeding them for like almost two years now. I have a whole colony in there. I have like an unlimited supply. I either feed doobie roaches or I feed some large crickets. Either one. I don't. These have a lot more protein and they are overall better. And as you can see, these guys have been growing crazy. And I only feed them one, but I feed them about like twice a week, and it's been showing amazing results. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I right guess so I hope some of these little tips that I give you guys will help you guys and your geckos growing, just you know, being as healthy as they could be. Like I said, feed the um the gecko diet, the meal replacement. I give that about every other day. You always want to have that available for them. And then the bugs like crickets, doobie roaches, you want to give that to them about two times a week if you want them to grow a little quicker. The more protein, the faster they'll grow. Not saying that the fastest they grow is healthier for them. You just gotta know, you know, when to slow down their feeding. Don't overfeed them because you don't want your schedule to get fat. That is not healthy for them. So, also for water, I mist down their enclosures every night or every other night, depending on how it dried up or if it's still like humid or moist in there. You don't want it to be too moist for them, or else it can cause like health issues, like respiratory infections, anything. So make sure you guys are either supplying them with a little water bowl or missing on their enclosures about like every other day or every night, depending on how the tub or enclosure dries out. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out. Leave this video a like, comment down below what you guys want to see, any tips, any questions, and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on those post notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Follow me on Instagram, link is in the description, and I'll see you guys on the next video.